Hey guys, it's Zender and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a working rocket ship in vanilla Minecraft. This does use some command blocks, but I will be teaching you how to use them in this situation, and will add a little bit of customability that you can do on your own. As you can see, this here is the rocket ship that I have built with a little bit of help from a guy named Chicken Massacre, thanks to him. As you can see, we can pop inside, and when we sit in the minecart, the rocket ship will go upwards. It will keep on going upwards until we get out of the minecart. And when we do so, it will begin to fall back down to Earth with some cool falling particle effects. As you can see, when it hits the Earth, it will stop. Now I'm going to teach you how you can create your very own rocket ships just like this and add them to your Minecraft worlds. So let's get started. To get started creating this machine, you're gonna have to get yourself a command block, which as most of you probably know, you use the command slash give at p c o m m and then press tab and enter. Now we are going to need a command block chain to run all of our commands. This uses the repeat and chain command blocks which were added in the 1.9 update. Simply place down the command block that you have in your inventory and then change it to a repeat command block like this and then switch it to always active by clicking on needs redstone. Now we need a chain command block facing out of the direction that the arrows on this one are facing. So do the exact same thing, except instead of switching it to repeat, switch it to chain. Now we will need to continue this with every single command block that we add to our chain. Now we need to go into whatever rocket ship you have built and place in the seat, which will be a minecart. Simply place down a command block and then paste in the command, which will all of them will be in the description and then close out of it and then power it. And as you can see, a minecart will now be here. We will use this to detect the borders of the rocket ship and run our commands relative to this point. Now we need to detect when the player is actually sitting inside of the seat. Now we need to run both of these commands on the main chain that we have created. The system gives the player a tag while they are sitting inside of the seat, which we can use to execute other commands off them. The first one is constantly removing the tag, while the second one is adding the tag when the player meets the requirement of sitting in the seat immediately after causing them to not have the tag whilst not meeting the requirement. Now we need to make the rocket ship actually move upwards. We want it to actually have a set speed and not go up as fast as it can, 20 times a second. So for this, we need a timer. To create a timer, let's create a scoreboard objective using this command in chat. Now that it's added, we can begin. We already know that the player is sitting in the seat because of the in rocket tag that we gave them previously, so now we need to execute on all players with this tag and constantly add a score on the rocket timer objective that we just added to the minecart seat using this command on screen here on the chain. Now we need to make the rocket ship move upwards after a set amount of time. We can use these commands on the chain to do so. All these commands will execute on the minecart when the timer has a score of 10, which is about half a second. The first command clones all of the rocket ship blocks upwards, the second one teleports the minecart and the player up with it, and the third resets the timer to repeat the whole process over and over again. Depending on the size of your rocket ship, you're going to want to change that first command. The little squiggly line means relative, so those coordinates are run relative to the seat or minecart, meaning that the bottom corner of my rocket ship is three blocks in the positive X, four blocks in the negative Y, and three blocks in the positive Z. The first three squiggly lines represent the bottom corner of the ship, the next three represent the top corner of the ship, and the last three represent the northwest bottom corner of where the ship is going to be moved to, which of course will be one block upwards. Now we need the rocket ship to go downwards. To avoid using another scoreboard, we are going to use the same one but with it counting down instead of up. To do this, we need to add this command to our chain. This command is executing on the nearest player to the ship, checking to see if they're sitting in the seat, and then if they aren't, it will test if there is air underneath the ship. If everything meets those requirements, then it will remove one score from itself on the rocket timer scoreboard which we added earlier. If your ship is a different size, then you will need to test for a different air position. Simply change the negative 5 and detect relative relative negative 5 relative 
to however many blocks there are between the seat and the ground. Next, we need to move the rocket ship down after half a second. We can do this by adding these commands to the chain. These commands will work exactly the same as moving the ship up, except the clone and teleport commands will move the ship, seat, and player downwards instead of upwards. The last one again represents the timer to be ready to repeat the process once again. The last small command will just make it so that you can't push the seat around and mess up the system. Add it to the end of your chain. That's all you need to know to create your very own rocket ship in vanilla Minecraft. As an extra challenge, you can try to add some particles and sound effects, but I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out on your own. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe as well as leave a like and make sure to leave a comment if you can't figure something out. Sorry that I couldn't have a one command out this week, but I am working on my map, which will be a very special video, as I've been working on it for a very long time, so stay hyped for that. That should hopefully be out next week Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video nevertheless, and I will see you guys next week with another command.